Hi everyone, and I'm fortunate today to uh, have the opportunity to talk to Michael Hetchek, President of Americas and Canada Hasselblad. And it's been a while since we've had an opportunity to sit down with Hasselblad and do a catch up. Uh, a lot of things have changed uh, along the way, uh, but we were able to find time to be in the same town and have an opportunity to sit down, and this is our chance to have a chat about Hasselblad, where things are, what's been happening, and uh, maybe what's in store, or as much as you can share with us what's maybe in store. Maybe a little. <laughs> maybe a, just a little. Uh, of course, uh, the last time we were together, we talked a lot about the X1D, which is right here, and uh, the review, review for this is on the Luminous Landscape site. And uh, we did a number of articles like, where is the X1D, and there's been some issues along the way and a lot of different stories. Um, so, you know, we have a chance now to kind of set it straight, and I'm gonna let Michael kind of fill us in on where we stand today, what's going on, what's, what's new, and uh, let's talk a little bit about the X1D, because it, it seems it's been pretty successful, but you're now shipping, and you're, you've got some months under your belt shipping, so sure. where do we stand? Sure, so uh, X1D has been great. Uh, you know, as we've talked about in the past, it's, it was a fantastic launch. Uh, we sold out of what we had uh, budgeted for, for all of 2017. We sold out on the first day, uh, and uh, the first day that the product was launched. Uh, and, uh, and so it's been going consistently since then. We had some hiccups with delivery initially, but now we're past those. So, uh, you know, here we are um, today with uh, X1D, our standard edition X1Ds are shipping. The 4116 edition, which is the special black edition version, uh, is still shipping slowly. Uh, but it is shipping, they're coming out, and uh, we're working through back orders now. Um, but uh, really excited that the, uh, uh, that the Silver Edition is out there and, uh, and readily available. So market. back orders, you know, the original back orders have been filled and you're now filling new orders in about what time we frame? Still, we still have some back orders that are being filled, but, uh, but it's new orders coming in and uh, uh, the product's, uh, you know, product's flowing pretty, pretty freely into the market. So, so shipping time would be, you know, we ordered today and, you know, there's a big popularity right now, you know, in this medium format field, yeah. which is good for all of us, yeah. but uh, what, what are we looking at? If you're looking at a month to month? six weeks, oh, okay. maybe. So yeah. it's still nice to have that. At least you're getting orders, yeah. and at least they're still yeah. at, you know, at, yeah. you know, catching up to uh, what normal production would be. Yeah. Um, I must comment and say, you know, that uh, what is you're seeing that's pretty typical in the industry when, you know, you launch a new product. There's always a you know a big pool of everybody wanting it, and you know once everybody is caught up, and then you're into a normal cycle. I'm sure things will be like you know they are with you know, a lot of the other products. So it's kind of a good place to be, but maybe not so good if you're waiting for your camera. Um, how do we stand on lenses? You've got uh, three lenses for this product now, correct? The 30, 45, and 90. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the 45 and 90 ha are and have been shipping uh, readily available for for quite some time. Uh, the 30 millimeters are shipping, uh, just starting to ship and. Uh, 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 getting out there, so uh, you got a 120, a which is um, also is going to be shipping. 120 will ship this year, so okay. uh, 120 macro, which were which is an exciting lens, and we have some, a number of other lenses in the uh, uh, in the pipeline. Can you yeah. talk a little bit about the pipeline on lenses? Is that uh, public yet? Uh, some of it's the the focal lengths have been released, and so we're, we're uh, uh, we don't have timing on them yet. So the so. lens designs on some of them are complete, and uh, which is a good thing. And then they go into uh, pre manufacturing and the manufacturing process, uh, and uh, uh, other ones are be, still being worked on. So are we going to see a wider angle in the thirty? Uh, so, so a yep. wider wider lens, yep. and we'll some see a wider a normal. <coughs> yeah. Any zoom yeah. lenses? A zoom lens is on the roadmap. Yep. Excellent. And what would be the maximum vocal length? Do you have one of those planned? Uh, you know, that's in the foreseeable you know future uh, on the roadmap. That is. There, there are there. There is a longer <laughs> lens on the roadmap. All right, longer yeah. lens. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have to guess at that one. Uh, that's good. And I know I'm going to put you in some awkward positions that way. But then again, you know, this is you know we're we're very curious. One of the things that uh, changed and uh, from when we originally talked uh, prior to the, the shipment was um, we and in, in my. Review. I had told was told that one of these um, uh, black oh, plastic things had GPS, and now uh, due to some whatever, it's an external unit now. Yeah, there were some uh, some issues with the uh, with the internal GPS unit, and so now we are shipping. Uh, actually, start, starting starting in, in this month, we're shipping uh, an external GPS unit that fits onto the hot shoe. 
So um, those will be fulfilled, uh, uh, fulfilled starting this month. And so it is an external adapter. Now, this, this camera obviously is very, very popular. I know uh, a number of friends that have uh, purchased this camera and are very happy with it. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen a couple um, fellows that are running their own blogs that are shooting with this camera now as their mainstay camera. Um, and Sony has released a, a roadmap with uh, new chips, so uh, even though it's probably nowhere on a immediate roadmap since the chips aren't there, but you know we do see a big future for this camera mm -hmm. uh, moving forward. So um, it's, it sounds like it's going to be a, a, a pretty good mainstay. Uh, your other cameras, which are the H line, how are mm -hmm. they doing? What, where do we stand with the H camera so, and what's the future? So, uh, you know, obviously um, uh, releasing the X1D does have an impact on the, the rest of the line. Um, so coming out with a uh, lighter weight uh, 50 megapixel camera using the same sensor that the H6050C uses mm -hmm. uh, has an impact on a certain segment of the market. So um, for the studio photographer, the studio photographer's preference is still an H camera with an optical viewfinder, a system camera. Um, but the, uh, for the photographer who wants something to carry in the field that had been using medium format and uh, uh, was appreciating the quality, but uh, more of an enthusiast uh, in a lot of cases, uh, in, some in some cases uh, uh, a photographer who's solely working natural light or, or out in the field and, and traveling, uh, the X has cut into that H6050 sales. Um, but uh, if we speak about the 100 megapixel version of the H60, uh, that camera's sales are actually accelerating. So that is a, a, great, uh, a great thing to see that uh, uh, that product at the top of the line, the top of the range, has still, uh, uh, is still a growing, uh, a growing and uh, moving product. So we have, we're up to the H6 at this point. Is there going to be an H7? Uh, we don't generally talk about the, the future, but uh, uh, we are working on uh, uh, a number of new products so uh, I guess for, what I, for the uh, professional photographer as well as for the, for the photographer that's uh, uh, interested in the X camera. In all fairness, I guess what I'm getting at is that, you know, to dispel any rumors that the, uh, the H line is dead, that there is a future for the H line and the Hasselblad has, um, you know, is not going anywhere uh, the way that I would think about it is that uh, we have a lot of interesting projects in the roadmap and it's hard to know how the market will, will take up different products. Oh, yeah, and right. as the technology develops and as certain things that today with, with what's on the market today, people would think I, don't, I wouldn't adopt a camera that had those features and functionalities or those specifications. Mm -hmm. Uh, I prefer this instead, but what's coming in 18 months or 24 months, uh, the technologies are dramatically different. And so the cameras that we think about now may be completely cannibalized. The, the H-Line may be completely cannibalized by some of the other offerings that we're bringing to the market. But uh, um, we think that there is a, still a future for, for the H camera. Excellent. <laughs> Listening to what you said, I'm <laughs> now I'm very curious. But let's let's talk about one other thing. Um, you know, there's no secret. Um, I put an article up about uh, the Hasselblad relationship with DJI, and um, you know maybe you could comment a little bit on you know where that is and what's going on and. Uh, you know, it's never yeah. become public, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, <laughs> I sound like a, bro a broken record every time I get this question that uh, uh, we really don't have a, a, a any, other, other than the announcements that we've made, we don't have any, any public announcement to, uh, uh, to make about the relationship between uh, Hasselblad and DJI, uh, other than that DJI is a very substantial investor in Hasselblad. And uh, that the partnership has has grown, uh, and uh, that we are working very closely together. And uh, it is a uh, relationship that has benefited Hasselblad tremendously, uh, uh, technically, production-wise. Uh, the things that we have learned from a company that uh, uh, that sells products uh, uh, that that uh, are extremely high quality, extremely high quality imaging systems, and uh, built for the mass market which is something that uh, that technology, uh, that expertise uh, in how to, how to get these products to market has really helped Hasselblad quite a bit. 
Um, I think the, uh, the lack of a press release is why every, what everyone wants to know is why isn't there a formal announcement about more about the relationship? Everyone has the comment of uh, uh, the same comment that you made in your article. And um, I think the thing that, that I've learned from the time that I've spent uh, 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 working with DJI uh, as a partner is that DJI is a company that doesn't want to talk about things. They want to show things. They want to do things. And so what they want, to, they want us to do and what they want to do is deliver. And we will deliver and continue to deliver. I think we are, we are delivering now and we will continue to deliver with new innovative products that, uh, uh, you know, that, that reinvent the market and that show a tech, cutting edge technology. Let me, let me reiterate, new innovative products. And, you know, I, we're, we're talking about a company that's just not stopping here. And I think that's an important consideration. That was a worry of mine. And, you know, I'm happy to hear that uh, Hasselblad is going to be moving forward. Uh, you know, I made it very clear in my article. I believe in the company. I believe in its products. Mm -hmm. And if there was one thing I was worried about was the fact that, you know, things might change. But the fact that you're saying they're doing some innovation and uh, new and interesting products, you know, that will be coming, I think kind of says a lot. And I think it's fair that our viewers understand that no company is going to be talking about a product before it has a product to talk about. So read into it what you want, but you know, I read into it you know, a, a positive nature that it's a company gathering and gaining strength with a, a vision towards the future. So I'm really excited to see where that is, and I hope uh, when the new products come, like we've done in the past, uh, we have the opportunity to sit down early on and talk about them and you know, let the audience know about that. Um, what else can you say about, you know, anything that you'd want to share with our viewers in regards to things? Um, obviously, it's an exciting time for medium format. No, just that, uh, you know, everyone at Hasselblad in Sweden is, is working very hard and focused on image quality. I mean, that is our, uh, that is our, our number one focus and uh, work, working through, uh, uh, working through uh, uh, new and innovative ways to think about image quality and expand the quality of the products is uh, what we're... Cool. What we're all about. Excellent. Well, I don't want to take too much of your time. I know I caught you in yeah. between, <laughs> you know, different things here, but so it was a good. lot of travel for both of us. <laughs> yeah, the last it's always few good weeks. to <laughs> kind of like, oh my God, our paths are crossing. Let's yeah. sit down for a few yeah. minutes. But I do owe you a beer, yeah. so uh, I want to thank you, Michael, for um, sitting with look, us. I'm looking forward. To that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was how a bribe, a Stella. In any case, thanks everybody for listening, and uh, I'll see you on the luminous landscape.